AMD divulges the details on their next two generations of CPUs that we're expecting. William Shatner went to space and in case you're on AMD, you might not want to consider upgrading Windows 11. Although in case you're on Intel, you might not want to consider upgrading to Windows 11. Anyways, let's get into the hot news, everybody. I'm your Brett Ost, and we're going to be going over the hottest tech news that I can find on the internet. Let's talk about the elephant in the room, which is the lack of uh, elephants on my face. <laughs> In case you somehow missed what ended up being a nearly six day adventure of our Cannonball for the Cure charity live stream, where we raised over $150,000 to go towards curing Syngap 1, which is a disease that my youngest son suffers from. During the course of raising that $150,000, there were hijinks, shenanigans. Uh, I got a double fryer tuck haircut, you know, crosshawk type situation. Once we hit $75,000, my eyebrows came off when we passed $100,000 that then committed me to getting LTTstore.com in Comic Sans tattooed on my butt, as well as once we hit 150, I will now get the ICD-10 code for Syngap 1 tattooed on my butt as well. It was a great, joyous time. I loved it so much. Again, 150 plus thousand dollars going towards a study, which we talked to the researchers during the event, and they said if all of the stars align and everything goes as well as it possibly can, which obviously not everything ever goes like that, we could be seeing a cure or some sort of treatment for our Syngap kids sometime by the end of next year, which is just absolutely phenomenal, something that I didn't expect was going to be possible when our son was first diagnosed. And it's something that you all have made possible through your generosity and support throughout the years. We're going to have a retrospective, a couple retrospective videos coming out on UFD Tech later. So stay tuned for that. But that this is honestly the hottest news that I could possibly deliver to you. Who cares about AMD's chips? I mean, we're changing the lives of actual people when we do stuff like this. The ability to modify a single gene mutation and change the trajectory of somebody's life forever in a positive way is something that no gaming CPU could ever do. So from the bottom of my heart for everybody in the Syngap community, both those who are diagnosed and those who are yet to be diagnosed, a tremendous and heartfelt thank you. And if you want to be part of the memory of that, we do happen to have a Cannonball for the Cure merch shirt that you can pick up over at the link in the video description. It's got all of our sponsors on the back. Big thanks to them for helping us pull off the event as well as the Cannonball for the Cure. Uh, memorial thing on the front. Maybe it should have like 2021 because maybe this will be an annual event. It's hard to say. But anyways, with that being aside, again, thank you so much. Now let's talk about the tech news, especially about AMD's next generation processors. They released this video over on their YouTube channel talking about the last five years of Zen because it's been about five years since Ryzen has come out. And there's a lot of details that you can come looking forward to expect from the next generations that we're having come out. So five different things to really look forward to here. Number one, it is coming next year. Zen 4 should be coming out towards the end of next year. It'll be based on DDR5 as well as potentially PCI Express 5.0 connectivity. This is stuff that we kind of already knew from other rumors and that you won't necessarily need to change your cooler. But one of the other big things that you need to know about is that the next gen Zen 3 CPUs with 3D V cache, which we're expecting to perform about 15% better in video games, is not coming with the next generation. It's coming with the current generation. It'll be on AM4 and it's expected to launch sometime at the beginning of 2022. So it doesn't look like AMD is going to be launching these chips this year to compete with Intel. Intel is going to have their Alder Lake time in the sun and then Zen 3 plus 3D Vcache will be coming out early next year. Are you excited for 3D Vcache Zen 3? Let me know down in those comments. But also kind of getting excited as all of the launches of DDR5, we're now seeing more and more of those come out, especially as Intel's Alder Lake is coming closer to a launch and G-Skill announcing their Trident Z5 memory, which I think looks really sleek. Um, although a little bit like backwards in design a little bit. I don't know how to quite describe it, but it also like all of this feels like it might be future retro. I'm not sure. What do you think of the Z5? I want to hear from you down below in the comments. And what do you think of the ARC 6600, which got launched yesterday? The $329 GPU that can kind of go toe to toe with the RTX 3060, as long as you don't turn on ray tracing, and as long as you ignore all of the other advantages that NVIDIA has in terms of NVENC encoding and productivity. If you're just a gamer, 329 for the 6600 makes sense. Are you just a gamer though? Are you more than the sum of the games that define your eyeballs as you play them with beautiful ray tracing, huh? 
Huh? No, you're not. You're, 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 you're just video games. So pick up the RX 6600. That's what AMD wants you to do. And Intel wants to continue to pick up people from AMD. And that's exactly what they've done for Project Z development. Intel picking up yet another veteran from AMD to join their graphics technology division. Now let's go into the crypto stonks. It's been a little while since I talked about this. Obviously I had the charity stream, but Bitcoin surging up being at $57,000. My goodness, it was below 50 the last time I talked about it. Up 1.8% in the last 24 hours. Ethereum also up quite a bit, 35.89 to be up 2.37%. Dogecoin up 2.25% to sit around 23 cents. GameStop down slightly from my last talked about it at 184.06, which puts it up 4.69% on the day. AMC down even more to be at 37.91, but up on the day 2.96. But the thing I think we need to pay attention to is urologist in large prostate, do this immediately. Try tonight. That's an exercise that I can get behind. Speaking of a large things that make billionaires feel good, Blue Origin sent William Shatner to the edge of space with the Blue Origin uh, wiener rocket, which you can see right there. William Shatner, obviously part of Star Wars, Star Gandalf, Star Trek, Garoni. Anyways, he was immensely excited about it. Makes him the oldest man in space. I'm sure that there are people this means a lot to, which is why I'm including it here, but I don't have ever seen Star Trek words. I'm still tired from driving across the country twice. Let's talk about Tesla, which is what we did the cross country drive in, but they're under pressure from the NHTSA for a stealth recall that they did with autopilot and over the full self-driving NDA beta that they had people with, with the NHTSA finding that Tesla had issues with responding to emergency vehicles with their autopilot. And they did a recall under the stealth of night, making it so that they were totally fine, but in reality, it was actually recall that never actually got reported and Tesla's hiding it behind over the air software updates, which I mean, I don't know how that's supposed to work. So I'm not going to comment on the whole NHTSA, how recalls are supposed to take place. But ugh, all I know is that I'm upset that I didn't have full self-driving beta for the entire trip because then I wouldn't have had to even keep my hands on the wheels and it would have made the trip a lot even smoother. -er. Again, word's not coming back to me. It's been a long journey, my friends. It's also a long journey for GM to sell the Chevy Bolt because they explode. Anyways, it's now being reported that they're getting paid back by LG for all of the costs and expenses with regards to this recall, offsetting $1.9 billion of the charges associated with the recall, which I'm shocked that they even considered that they could sell that many bolts, let alone have enough of those to recall. But you know, GM not necessarily known for being good at their business practices. I mean, Epic's business practice seems to be getting into fight with companies bigger than itself, Google now counter suing Epic Games for willfully breaching the Play Store contract with their Fortnite stunt. This is just the tit for tataroni that's going on between Epic Games Store and Apple and Google. And it does seem like the larger billionaire companies are not taking this line down no matter how much Epic Games Store wants free and better rates across the entire Play Store. Do you want free and better Apple products? Think again, you're never gonna get that. Their next Apple event's gonna be taking place on October 18th. We're expecting that this is going to be the next generation MacBook that are based on the next generation M1 processor, potentially M1X or M1 II. We're also expecting things like the MacBook Pro to have MagSafe charging come back as well as SD card reading. And the thought is that potentially Apple is saving all of the nice features that everybody would want on a Pro device for their Apple Silicon lineup. And that way, anybody who's on the Intel would want to upgrade to the Apple Silicon once it came out. Is that what they're doing? I mean, I wouldn't necessarily doubt it, which is why that conspiracy theory sounds so good. But what do you think of Apple's next gen stuff? Are you excited for it? I mean, especially with how well the M1 performed, do you think that the next generation could be even better? You would hope because it goes up and up every single generation. That's what we're technology's here for, my friends. You know what companies are here for? Making money. And Best Buy wants to make more money off of you not being able to make money off of buying things on their website because they're now having a $200 a year membership that allows you to buy things that everybody else wants to buy. Their total tech membership will have exclusive products on hot items such as the PS5, as well as other items that are on their website where you can purchase it for $199 a year. And it gives you peace of mind in one comprehensive plan around the clock tech support up to 24 months of product protection on most Best Buy purchases with an active membership, free delivery and standard installation plus other great benefits, including being able to buy products behind a paywall, which are already behind a paywall known as buying them in the God dang first place. I get why they're doing it. It helps to eliminate scalpers, but this is this is like the scummiest way you could possibly do it, Best Buy. Making us pay more to be able to buy stuff from you and locking behind that paywall. Not a fan of this, Best Buy. Naughty, naughty Best Buy, please stop. 
And Riot Games wants you to stop talking to people on the other side of the game because League of Legends is now getting rid of all chat, which is just so not the problem when you're playing League of Legends games. Everybody's just like, why would you get rid of all chat? I mean, now I can't say GGEZ. What? That's not where most of my inflammatory comments are coming from. It's not from the other team. It's from my top lane telling me that I'm a garbage jungler because I was down in bot lane trying to save them while their ADC was feeding the other gosh dang ADC. It's been a while since I played League, but I think I got the terms correct. Anyways, this is probably not going to help a whole lot, Ryan, somehow just putting out a fire in somebody else's building. That's exactly what Microsoft's doing with its latest Windows 11 update. There have been reports that AMD CPUs are having a little bit of a performance struggle on Windows 11, and the latest update makes it even worse, according to Tech Power Up, because there are now excessive latency issues that are happening on Ryzen chips on the L3 cache to the tune of up to 15% in some instances. So if you're on AMD, might not behoove you to upgrade to Windows 11. Actually, based on what I'm hearing of Windows 11, might not behoove anybody to upgrade to it at this point. Have you upgraded to Windows 11? Are you considering it? Let me know what you think of it down below, but maybe just wait until a lot of these early use case bugs are sorted out and so that you actually get full performance out of your chips. That just seems reasonable to me. You know what else seems reasonable to me? Me being done with this episode of Hot News, your number one tech news source for breakfast, which I somehow constantly forget. I'm out of practice, my friends. Obviously, you can probably tell I don't look normal. I don't sound normal. My brain don't work as good as it used to before the trip. I'm gonna go get some rest and I'll see you tomorrow for breakfast, my friends. Chip Cheerios.